Dear listeners, good morning and welcome to Comme d'Archie, the podcast that opens the doors to the fascinating world of architecture. For newcomers, let me introduce myself. I'm the spokesperson of Anne-Charlotte Despont, PhD in History of Architecture, published author, head of a communication and development agency based in Paris, France, dedicated to architecture. Let's meet every week to discuss culture and architecture with specialists and learn how to look at projects through a context and diversity lens. Thank you for being with me today, and now it's time for talent. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archie. Hi, everybody. Hi, Orage Montazami. Hi, hello. Inchallah. Hello. Thank you for being here today. You are architect in activity in Paris, France. Studio Montazami is the name of your office. Could you introduce your office? Good morning, Anne. Yes, I'm, I'm an architect. Our office is based in Paris. We are developing our activities since approximately 10 years now. I'm mostly based on our uh, office buildings and less residential, but we don't have any specialties. We want to work in every kind of activities uh, in architecture. We are 15 today. The company is growing a bit because we win some competition lately, uh, last three years. So uh, we hopefully will uh, hire people and we'll grow up a little bit, but not too much because of my interest in that what I want to uh, always to be in contact with all the projects in every level of, of uh, the development of each project. And um, I don't have a, like, a vision of a huge company with uh, many architects to be able to be in, in touch with in contact with all, all the clients and all the projects uh, during all the stage in its development. Okay. You are a passionate architect. I believe I'm, I'm a passionate architect. I, I always wanted to be an architect since I was five. To me, it's part of the magic of that world. I just discovered architecture by visiting the site of our home uh, in construction with my dad. And that was in Iran when I was born. And then we moved to France. And then I always wanted to be an architect. We will talk about your project, La Cité Universelle, project located in Paris. When it will be delivered? Today, uh, it's planned to be delivered in 2024. But it's a huge project. It's really complicated. So it depends of many factors because we don't want to deliver a project which is not matching our uh, the overview of all what we wanted to include in that project. It's a project about handicap. It's not an easy game to play. It's a, we really need to take our time to include all typology of handicaps in our type building. So... That's why, for the moment, 2024 is the, the delivery date. But I believe maybe it will be postponed because we need to take time to do the best project we can deliver. Okay. Could you describe, really, this project on your approach? The project was, first of all, an urban project for the audience. The project is just facing La Philharmonie from Jean Nouvel and La Cité de la Musique from Paul Sampak. So for an architect, young architect like me, it's an honor to build just in front of those two great French architects. And then it's the con for us, it's the continuity of the Parc de la Villette. So uh, we have just the road, the highway we call Périphérique in Paris, which is uh, dividing uh, uh, that land by, in two, two different sides. But we wanted uh, with Ange Pation, that uh, another architect from Baumschlag, uh, we, uh, we've been working on that project. We are two, I just forgot to, to tell, this is really important because it's a common work from two architects. And we wanted to, to continue that, um, that landscape from La Villette to our side and just implement uh, what we called with Anne, the object in the park. That's why it's a bit uh, curvy and round, uh, just placed like a, an emblematic project in that area. And then we met people, activists like Riyad Salem, uh, who is an athlete, who, who he's in some kind of ambassador of uh, 22, 24 Olympic Games also. So our target first was to reach that timeline for to be ready for, to include the project in all the, in the, for the Olympic Games. And beside this, we we just saw that we need a space for many activities around handicaps. 
So you have a medical center inside that building. You have 110 hotel rooms on the rooftops, the best area and with the great view over Paris. And then that stadium, uh, which will be included in the project, 1,000 people can come and, and watch games, uh, handicap uh, uh, sports games. And what is great about this project I just feel like uh, being a student again. We were able with Anne Specha to convince our the developer to follow our first sketch to have project going layer by layer one over the others. Because as you may know, everybody wants its own entrance. The hotel normally wants to have one side of the building. And today to feel that we are all in the same feeling of the same space we wanted to have just one entrance and all the programs are going like level to level over each other's and that was a great project to develop uh, with the teams of the, we and now today the project we have on the on the ground floor of uh, what we called forum with restaurant with cafe areas and and uh, all the gardens around and then over the top some levels uh, for the office buildings and then the hotel on, on the last floor with the rooftops open to everyone it's a building which is not closed just for users. You can, you and I will be able to go on the rooftops and take a coffee and have a look over La Philharmonie de Jean Nouvel. Okay, it's a very big, big project. And we can feel in this project, in the form, a kind of dynamism. Yeah, it's, it's energy. the energy. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> the, the, that's what they propose the first. That ramps which is surround, which we want to create around is not just a wheelchair ramp it is but it's just a living space also so some kind of so today it was before the crisis we're living today but we want to have a lot of terrace outside our office spaces and those ramps those surrounding areas are living space outside our offices and our uh, our interiors so we were maybe <laughs> we did before knowing what's going on but today when you work in an office you want to go to in a terrace you want to go from well, you don't want to take the elevators you will take that ramp from from an upper lever to go to the to your restaurants downstairs so you will be able to take that ramp so it's open to everyone so that's the first purpose that ramp but it's it's yeah it's it's designing all the all the project and it's create that energy you were talking about uh because at the beginning, the first step was the sport uh, and, and this uh, the stadium uh, uh, for handicap store, uh, handicap sport. Sorry. We can see the the mix between the project and the landscape. Is it a new way of thinking the city? The intention was was to not have any different facades. You just feel that you're in contact with that building on each. Uh, facade from north to south, east to west, the same quality of facade, the same transparency, just to feel you can be welcome in that building anywhere you are. So no polarity. That was the first, uh, our first intentions. And then that side is really visible from uh, from different level of view, from the pedestrian view, from the highway surrounding, from uh, Paris, because we are in Paris, but we're boarding the city of Pontin. We're facing residential area also. So it was not an easy game to, to create a construction there because it's an empty land today. It's uh, just parking areas. And um, a building which can be visible because we have to, to show the, the, our intentions, not in terms of architecture, but what we want to include, the handicap, and welcome the people from all sides of the building. That was That's what makes its uh, urban uh, inclusions and uh, uh, visibility from all the sides uh, around the building. Okay. A last word for the end? I'm really happy to be able to talk with our English audience about that project because I believe this project and we've been benchmarking this uh, during the, the, the competition was not developed anywhere in the world. We will be in France the first one to develop that kind of program uh, related to handicaps and I wish in our audience we can also develop that kind of architecture to welcome all kind of handicap in their building because so it's not just 
talking about handicaps, it's still talking about um, humanity. And I hope that the audience today will discover that project. And many other projects like this will be developed around the world. So please have a look to our project and please do it elsewhere because it's a really important matter to all of us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Orage, for your passion and uh, your enthusiasm. Uh, bye bye. See you soon. And Thank bye you. bye, everybody. And see you next Wednesday for our new interview in English. Take care of yourself. Bye. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to tune in to our previous content on Instagram at Comdarchi Podcast. If you like it, make sure to promote the podcast by giving it five stars on Apple Podcast and adding a comment or on any of your favorite podcast platforms. And don't forget to subscribe and listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon, and until then, take care of yourself.